Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody likes the font Times New Romans, which this is, but they're going to cut out a wood and don't want. They do not want these sharp points on the font. And ask how if there was another font. Well, you could change this font. So we're going to left click, right click, so we just have an outline. And then we're going to go to object and we're going to convert them into curves. And then we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Corners. And I've already kind of played around with this. We'll go to Filet and point zero two, And this would depend on this font or the size of the font. And then just take your shape tool and select that node and apply. Once you've got the radius fixed, that will work for all of them. And don't even, now if you do it like that, you're gonna have double nodes. So if you do one node at a time, it's gonna take a little bit more time, but you'll have less nodes. See there, there are just two nodes and you could actually delete that, maybe that node and it doesn't really change anything. You could actually delete that one. Just kind of look at it. But you could go through here and do all these just one note at a time and just hit apply. And once you've got your radius fixed, you don't have to worry about it. You can still delete those two nodes, get a little bit smoother cut. Uh, even in laser engraving, the smoother the cut, the better if we look and we do them both the time, it does the same thing. Then you just hit the delete button and you could round off. So we're going to round off this entire F and you'll see it. But what I'm saying is, once you figure out the radius, because you can't have too much or too little. So depending on your font, see there's two nodes actually on top of each other. So look at the difference now when we take the Smart Fill tool and everything's rounded off. So all our corners do not have the sharp points anymore. They're all rounded off. And you could actually even round off that one. You'd always want to do it in a hairline and then just take your shape tool. You have to take your shape tool and round off that corner. And it's actually showing you what it's going to look like before it does it. I don't know why that didn't work. I must have two copies there. There we go. So you could, and you could even round off the inside corners if you wanted to kind of make it look more aesthetically because this part has a rounded off point. Let's just do that. Let's just, uh, do it, grab the shape tool, select that node and hit apply. Select that node and hit apply. Now all your corners are rounded. Look at it and, and or filled in so you can kind of tell the difference. And it's kind of a neat looking font. So you don't need to find a font, you can change that font. And you'd only have to, you wouldn't have to do it on the O, but on the N and the T and get a completely different font or a little bit better, more smooth, uh, less fragile maybe, and definitely less, you know, where it would catch on something. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.